in case you haven't noticed it yet in 1903 uh, there's a new way to change your mouse color if you know like me it helps to uh, be able to do this so let's go to the settings app uh, we're going to type in mouse and then go down here not to mouse but we're going to say change mouse pointer size now that'll get you to this page here okay which is we're going to do several different things here we can look at the size okay we can look at the color and even the typing bar thickness so let's go up here now you won't see it here but my cursor actually changed size to be the same size as that the recording software didn't pick it up but as you adjust this you'll see that now next there's several defaults there's a white cursor a black background black cursor with a white outline okay in the black and white and then over here is the color and if we click on this you'll see a color selection dialog box now it has some standard colors you see I've already changed mine to red uh, if you change it to a different color uh, again it doesn't pick it up to change here in the recorder but you just go in here and select uh, whatever color you want and make sure it contrasts with your background now once you've selected a color you can also change its darkness here by sliding on the slider here as you can see the color uh, bar changes so click around choose your color slide the darkness and all that but if you're a real techie type and uh, all this doesn't uh, satisfy you can click on more you can actually put in the hex values of the color you want and once you're done uh, click on done and now it'll apply those changes now note that this applies across all your applications here I am with my file explorer and my music directory you notice that it changes to a hand when I'm over here in the directory back to an arrow uh, so it changes all the different facets of it this is my video editor I use to create videos and if I go in here and I do certain things for example if I hover over the tracks down here between them and I want to change them you'll see it changes to a double arrow uh, there to resize the track size and you notice here at the bottom where it wants me to drag that it has a little hand there it's red as well uh, some places just use your cursor now here I clicked on this now it was so fast you can't see it so I just paused it right here you see that the hourglass is actually red as well so it depends upon the program and whether or not it supports the color and sizes uh, depending upon the function in that program so let's go back to the uh, control panel here because that changed the appearance of that but let's take a look at the cursor so that you can make it easier to see when you're typing to do that I'm going to open up notepad here let me put it off to the side here so we can see and you notice a flashing cursor up there the, the vertical bar if we go here and we slide this to make it thicker to make it easier to see uh, click over here and you see how it's thick it is now if we type up here you'll see that it's uh, quite thick now there's a, there's a problem there because you notice when I made it thick it's partially covered the C if I go over here ridiculously it it doesn't really tell you where this cursor is at so just do one that's maybe slightly bigger than the default if you're having a hard time seeing it this should help so there you have it how to change your cursor size uh, your mouse size color all that stuff uh, in the new Windows 10 uh, 1903 version. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.